Praxis Prepper. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis, and yeah, oops, I'm sorry, I did it again. I released today's 4.30 p.m. video at 4.30 a.m. I'm especially sorry to anyone who has notifications on on your phone, uh, and if you're on the East Coast, I'm really sorry for that. Uh, you know, I, I schedule these in advance. Sometimes I juggle the schedule. You know, my boy's wanting my attention while I'm at the computer. You know, I, I'm cooking dinner at the same time. You know, sometimes I make mistakes, and I'm sorry about that. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see today's episode... That, it was supposed to release now, but released 12 hours ago. Here's a link. You can check it out. It's a, it's a fun one. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a how-to video, so you, you might find it enjoyable. Uh, while I'm doing this video, though, I figured I'd talk about the last week, because uh, it's been a lot of change, I think, in the last week, uh, at least a change of, uh, of direction. Uh, uh, just a few weeks ago, I did a video where I was kind of apprehensive about some of the, the new direction the Trump administration seemed like they were going in, in terms of cabinet picks you know, advisors, things of that nature. Uh, you know, a lot of these people uh, that were coming in were kind of old neocon, you know, hawkish, you know, let's bomb the crap out of them kind of people, in particular John Bolton. He was a big uh, proponent of the first, uh, I'm sorry, the second Iraq war. Uh, I was pretty apprehensive about it. And I, I know I was, I was called a lot of not particularly nice names by people. Uh, you know, people, you know, I think I was called a traitor. You know, you don't support the president. Uh, you know, what are we going to do? Just walk away, uh, you know, from all these conflicts? Well, the past couple weeks, for the past week or so, that's what we've been doing. That's what uh, the Trump administration has decided to do, is walk away. Does that mean that Trump is the traitor now? Because he's doing what I suggested might be a good idea back then? Is Trump the traitor? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm sure the people that made those uh, uh, suggestions have kind of rejiggered things in their head, and it all makes sense now. But, but yeah, yeah, uh, there's been kind of a change in course uh, in, in uh, two big fronts. One is obviously North Korea. Big news on North Korea today. Maybe big news, who knows. Uh, and uh, on the, the, the Russian kind of Syria situation, first let's talk about the Russian Syria thing, uh, you know, with the chemical weapon attack or whether there was one or who might have been behind it and all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, the U.S. said they, they wanted to go in, they were going to, like, launch missiles. You know, we wanted to, like, ah, don't do that, you know, whatever. Uh, and uh, it sounds like the way that they did that in order to keep things from escalating was that we went to the Russians and asked permission, you know, kind of like, hey, excuse me, we'd love to, uh, you know, bomb some shit here, but we don't, we don't want to step on you guys' toes. So where would be some places that you wouldn't really mind if we, you know, thumped our chest a little bit, blew some shit up and all that. So we ended up doing that and um, it avoided escalating the situation. So we're able to, you know, let off some steam, blow some shit up. I'm sure some people died and that's tragic. Um, I don't mean to say that. The, the way that it came out of my mouth sounded really, really kind of um, heartless, I guess. Uh, I don't mean it in that way, but I mean the bombings themselves were incredibly tragic for anyone that died or was injured in those bombings. But I do like the fact that we, if we had to do it, which apparently we had to do it, um, if we had to do it, that we did it in a way that did not escalate things further. So there'd be more and more bombings back and forth, back and forth. That's stepping back from that precipice, uh, you know, being a traitor or whatever. And I think that's a good thing. Uh, you know, the world in that sphere at the moment seems more stable than it was just a couple of weeks ago. That's a good thing. On North Korea, the big news today is the war is over. You know, um, you know, the two Koreas are going to unify, they're going to denuclearize and all that uh, kind of stuff. You know, we've heard all that stuff before. We have to see how this goes forward. I mean, this is not People are talking about, like, this is a, a you know, totally new landscape. You know, look at what Trump's done. It's never been, we've never been here before. We've been here many times before. And the, these things always fall, have always fallen apart in the past when you get down to the details, the inspections, you know, what, what are people giving for that and everything. So we'll have to see where things go forward. I know that, you know, Trump's making the victory rounds and everything. It's, it reminds me of, like, George Bush after the beginning of the second Iraq war. Like, mission accomplished. It's all done. You know, uh... If this is the end of something, this is the beginning of the end. It's not the end of the end. You know, there's a long way to go. Um, but we achieve this, what, what we are achieving, by stepping back from conflict. Uh, you know, the, Trump had said, you know, the, the North Koreans cannot have a weapon that can reach the United States. And now we're saying, it's okay, you know, just don't bomb us. And we promise we won't bomb you. Um, and we want you to, you know, get rid of your, your program. I guess the, the North Koreans have agreed to allow their nuclear test site to continue to collapse in on itself, which was it was doing anyway, and kind of dismantle that, which kind of is like giving your old broken car to somebody, uh, you know. So there's not they they, they didn't they weren't really asked to give much up, you know. If they're going to be giving anything up, it's going to be in the future negotiations with 
with South Korea, and we'll we'll see what that looks like going forward. But so far this week, it's cool. You know, not all the news in the world always has to be bad stuff. You know, this is the week. The world today seems a bit more stable than it was, and safer, at least you know, for me personally here in the United States, than uh, than it did you know a couple of weeks ago. You know, with, with all the you know the angry rhetoric you know, the, the threats and all that kind of stuff. So this is what it feels like when you can step back from conflict, be a traitor, and, uh, you know, think about more than, you know, what it feels like to, uh, you know, pound your chest and, uh, you know, draw your red lines in the sand and all that kind of stuff. So that's it. We'll see where things go, but positive week. That's it. If you want to check out that video, remember, link down below. I don't, I don't think I can make two of those little links, like, pop up in the same video that go to the same place. So I think if you missed the one earlier, you have to go back to there uh, or I'll have a link down below to it. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.